This is WVBA News, here for you, live in HD. WVBA News at 6 starts now. Extreme weather conditions have put our precision weather team on high alert tonight with team coverage. And a train derailment causes an explosion and oil spill into the Kanawha River. Good evening, I'm Courtney Clark. And I'm Greg Carter. We have a lot to get to tonight as the weather conditions have created hazardous conditions outside. Our Precision Weather team leads off our team coverage tonight, and we begin with Chief Meteorologist Jana Brown. Good evening, Jana. Good evening, guys. We've got some snowfall reports coming in from several areas, and we're not seeing a whole lot of difference from county to county. Many right now are between about 6 and 10 inches already, and we still have several more hours of moderate to heavy snow on the way. Lorona checking in at about 10 inches. Alderson and Mullins very close to that. Taswell at about 8.5, and, and Welch checking in at 8. And this is just a sample. There are many, many more reports that you can check out on social media, Twitter and Facebook, and we will continue to post them for you. Right now, looking outside Window World Sky Cam and Backley, you can see snow-covered roads, visibilities are poor, temperatures are cold, sitting in the teens for most. Pineville's been pretty steady at about 22. Our dual-pole Doppler radar showing a lot of snow out there, not really seeing any breaks in the snow. It may become lighter at times, but then snow gets heavier as we head through the night. Some snowfall rates at about one to two inches an hour at this point. Widening the view out just a little bit and putting this in motion over the last three hours, conditions haven't changed much. Now, central Kentucky is starting to see a break in the action, and we will start to see snow begin to lighten and taper off overnight. So again, we do still have several hours of heavy snow. Plus, we've got the wind out there, too, coming in from the east-southeast, and it's getting a little gusty just downwind of the mountains. So, of course, it's making it feel colder. Wind chills right now in the lower single digits. Wind chill in Beckley is down to about zero. So it is frigid. It's going to stay cold overnight with temperatures staying pretty steady in the teens to low 20s and again we are looking at a better day for tomorrow but we're not even done for this week yet but we'll talk more about that coming up soon but our team coverage right now continues and we're going to head outside to Travis Roberts who's going to give us a little bit more information on how it's looking Travis yeah hey Jan it's very cold out here very very cold out here we're in Green Valley in Mercer County tonight lots of powdery snow I don't know if you can can see it but it's very dry snow and you know what that means it's going to pile up really, really quickly. We talked about this earlier in the five o'clock, but we generally when we talk about an inch of rain that equates to about 10 inches of snow. Well, this snow is about a 15 to one ratio, meaning one inch of rain may equal 15 inches of snow. So it's very fluffy. And what that means to you is when you're driving down the road, we can see some very bad conditions on the road where the snow just kind of plows up and pushes in front of your car, or in front of your tires, creating terrible road conditions. Now, Route 460 behind me in terrible shape tonight. Lots of snow, snow everywhere. Roads are snow covered and they are very dangerous. The best advice tonight, stay off the roads. It's gonna get worse overnight. We're having some heavy snow bands come through right now. Snowfall rates between one and two inches an hour. So it's very cold. Also, we've got some wind blowing the snow around, so you could have whiteout conditions. It's, it's just not worth getting out tonight. We're gonna have more out here, and we're also gonna talk uh, more about our forecast with Jana coming up in just a little bit. Greg Courtney, back to you in the warm studio tonight. All right, Travis Roberts in Green Valley, thank you very much. Our team coverage now moves to the north. Right now, Annie Moore is standing by live outside our Raleigh County newsroom with an update on the conditions there. Annie, how's it looking out there? Raleigh County is bearing the brunt of this storm. Even on the main arteries through Beckley, driving is especially treacherous. And with more snow on the way, it's only going to get worse. Be careful. Take your time. Those roads are hazardous. President's Day in Beckley, bedeviled by bad weather and bitter cold. Definitely good to, to go as slow as you can, you know. Give yourself a little extra time when leaving and stuff. Throughout the day, residents scrambling to stock up, buying everything from ice melt to generators. Getting some flashlight batteries, a uh, battery, a uh, light for his trouble light, and a couple of more items here, and then we got to go to the grocery store. For many, the ice poses an even bigger threat, raising the potential for downed lines and treacherous driving conditions. It's not for me, it's for the other folks that I'm more concerned about, the power line. People that have to get out and fix the outages, uh, people that have to clear the roads. With more snow, high winds, and bitter cold on the way, Bruce Lilly of Flat Top is just one of many, getting ready to hunker down and ride it out. I'm waiting until the last minute until the storm's on top of them, and then, oh, I've got to go get milk, or I've got to go get uh, this. And the best thing to do is just turn the heat up, curl up on the couch, and read a good book. 
Now, if you have to go out, drivers are urged to exercise extreme caution. Remember, the slower your speed, the more traction you'll have when you hit black ice. Courtney, Greg. All right, Annie Moore, live in Raleigh County. Thank you very much. A train derailment sends at least one tanker car containing crude oil into the Kanawha River. Emergency crews and state environmental officials responded to the scene you see here. It's in Fayette County. It's near Montgomery. The train was traveling eastward through Montgomery toward Gawley Bridge. This is an area along Route 61 known as Powelltown Road, Powelltown Hollow, excuse me. Residents within a half mile of the scene were ordered to evacuate. A shelter has been set up at Valley Elementary School in Smithers, West Virginia for those evacuees. Public safety spokesman Lawrence Messina said at least one, possibly more tanker cars went into the river. Crude oil is leaking into that river. Messina says the fire also destroyed at least one home. However, at this time, no fatalities have been reported. There is now a state of emergency declared for Kanawha and Fayette counties because of that derailment. Governor Terry McAuliffe has declared a state of emergency in Virginia. This declaration allows state agencies to bypass some time-consuming paperwork and procedures. It's in the interest of quickly getting assistance. It's also the mechanism for activating the Virginia National Guard for state service and provides liability coverage for volunteers and private entities assisting in local or state response efforts. Coming up on WVVA News, we continue our team coverage of these wintry conditions. First, Lindsay Oliver is going to bring us the latest from Lewisburg and Greenbrier County. And then WVVA's Courtney Davis will speak to the West Virginia Division of Highways. She'll tell us what progress they plan to make. Don't go away. Live in HD with Greg Carter, Courtney Clark, meteorologist Jenna Brown, and A.J. Good with sports. Your Continues to fall, the roads are becoming more and more dangerous. And our team coverage continues tonight in Greenbrier County, where we're joined by WVVA's Lindsay Oliver. Hi, Greg and Courtney. It has definitely been consistently coming down since early this morning in Greenbrier County. And don't let these small things fool you. It is really accumulating. You can see we probably already got about maybe half of a foot of snow or more. It does seem like the people are staying in if they can, and those on the roads are taking it very slow and steady, which is great because Greenbrier County 911 even says there have been very few accidents, accidents today, all minor. The Division of Highways is working very hard to keep up with the snowfall, and because there is so much snow coming down, DOH isn't even treating the roads at this point. We haven't been putting the mix down. We've been putting our aggregate down on the hills and plowing. It'd be foolish to put uh, put mix down on the roads and plow it right off. So They are expecting around a foot of snow on the western end of Greenbrier County and around seven inches on the eastern end, if not more. And luckily, emergency management is not reporting any power outages at this time. I hear for you in Greenbrier County. I'm Lindsay Oliver. Greg and Courtney, back to you. Thank you very much, Lindsay. The Division of Highways in Mercer County has been working since the snowstorm this past weekend to prepare for today's snowfall. WVVA's Courtney Davis spoke with them earlier today, and she continues our team coverage on the weather. Courtney? Hi, guys. I'm out here, and I've been driving around all day, and it's really, really getting messy out here. And now, Dane Rideout did speak with us today at WVVA, and he also told us that he is asking all Bluefield, West Virginia residents to stay inside so that the Division of Highways can do their job. Now, as Greg said, they have been working since the snowstorm this past weekend to fix all of the roads and get them prepared, but the snow really isn't letting up. Uh, Transportation for just to get the main roads as soon as it stops snowing, it'll probably take us probably about a half a day to a full day just to get the main roads open before we can start hitting the back roads. McCloggery says the Division of Highways expects to begin clearing the roads hopefully by tomorrow evening. Now, like I said, these roads are really bad right now, even for four wheel drive cars. So stay inside, stay safe so that the Division of Highways can do their job and plow all of the roads and get to those back roads as soon as possible. Here for you in Mercer County, I'm Courtney Davis. Greg and Courtney, back to you in the studio. And Courtney Davis, thank you very much. Chief Meteorologist Jana Brown is up next with your full forecast. Stay with us.